Let's integrate cosine square x times tangent to a circle x. Usually, we like to have sine and cosine to work with. Well, in this case, we have tangent here and cosine here. We can take off tangent by writing tangent as sine over cosine. We'll do that. So this is the same as the integral of cosine square x. This is sine to the third power x over cosine to the third power x, dx. And this way, everything will be in terms of sine and cosine. And then even better, I can cancel two of these, so this becomes the first power on the bottom. And in other words, this is the integral of sine to the third power, sine to the third power x over cosine to the first power x, dx. The trick is, I'm going to break this apart as sine squared times sine. So let's look at what good does that do for us. Sine squared x times sine x over cosine x, dx. Okay. Because once you have the even power, sine squared, I can use an identity. I would like to produce cosine right here. This is the same as 1 minus cosine squared. So that would be the same as the integral. 1 minus cosine square x, that's for the sine square. And then we still have the sine right here over cosine x dx. Okay? And now, as you can see, we have a lot of cosine here, and then we have a sine x on the numerator. We can use a u substitution. We can let u equals to cosine x. And then that will give us du will be negative sine x dx. So in other words, dx will be du over negative sine x. OK? So here, I can look at this integral as this. Integral of 1 minus cosine squared becomes u squared. And that will be in the parentheses over u, because that's cosine. And then sine x times well, sine x, let me just leave it because I need to show you guys a cancellation. The dx is du over negative sine x. And then the sine x cancel each other out, right? We have a negative right here. You can take it to the outside, negative integral. And inside, it's just 1 minus u squared over u, du. I can split the fraction. Look at this as 1 over u, and then minus u squared over u u squared over u, which is just u, du. And then, let's see how can we integrate that. We have the negative. Let's look at the parentheses. 1 over u is just ln, right? So ln, absolute value of u. And then, this is just going to be um, stay inside the integral, which is still minus, minus u squared over 2. OK, so this is the minus right here. OK. Um, this is going to be minus. Well, let me just write down right here, non equal sign. Distribute my negative into the parentheses, we have negative ln, absolute value. The u is cosine x. So I'll just write down cosine x right here. Negative, negative becomes positive, and this is u squared, which is cosine squared, cosine squared x over 2. And this right here will be the answer after you put plus c somewhere. This is it. Negative ln absolute value of cosine x plus cosine square x over 2 plus c. This is it.